Hey everyone, TB King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to install the Signage Mod 7 ROM on your Samsung Infuse 4G. This ROM is a gingerbread based ROM 2.3.7 and it's supposed to emulate stock gingerbread as close to stock as possible with some added tweaks. But anyways, you're going to need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod installed on your Infuse. I'm on the MyUI ROM in case you're wondering. But click on the link in the description of the video, it takes you to this site. Big thanks, shout out to Nocturnal for this. As you can see, compiled CM7 for the Infuse. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and scroll down. And you get download links right there. You're going to need to download two files, the latest build right there. Uh, download the latest build as well as the Google Apps. So download both of those. Once both of them are downloaded, they should look something like uh, this. Here's the ROM right here that's highlighted, this update CM7.2 RCO Infuse Kang, and then the Google Apps is going to look like this, this G Apps gingerbread signed. Transfer both of those files onto your internal storage of your Infuse. So make sure both of them are on your internal storage, both zips, and once they are, you can actually go ahead and boot into your custom recovery. So I'm going to press and hold, hit reboot, I'm going to hit cancel, I'm going to power it on off since you can't reboot straight into recovery from the My UI ROM. All right, now that my device is powered off, I'm going to need to boot into my custom recovery to do so. Press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. Press and hold until the first Samsung screen pops up. Like so. So go ahead and let go once it does. And it should reboot me into my custom recovery. I believe Clockwork Mod 5, I did. So awesome, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 right there. So now to install this ROM, here's what I'm gonna recommend. First, make an Android backup. Go to Backups and Restore. Make sure you have an Android backup on your device. And you're gonna need to wipe data, factory reset. This will wipe all your data, so make sure you back up your contacts, apps, etc. So hit Wipe Data, Factory Reset. It's gonna go ahead and format everything. And then once that's done, Go to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. So it's gonna wipe your cache as well. Then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Delvic cache. And then hit yes. And then once all three of those are wiped, you're ready to go, hit go back, hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to wherever the ROM file is, that update CM7.2.0 ROM file and hit yes, install. So it's gonna go ahead and install the ROM itself for you. I'm gonna go ahead and let it uh, do its thing. Just be patient with it. So I'll be back once it's done. All right, so now as you can see, install from SD card complete. Just hit go back and then reboot system now. The reason I'm saying this is because your phone's gonna get stuck on the Samsung screen. So this will be normal. So go ahead and once it does, pull the battery. So pull your battery after it gets stuck on the Samsung screen. Even if you sat there and waited for it, it would just sit at the Samsung screen. Slide your battery back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my back back on. And now once that's done, we're gonna need to go back into our custom recovery clockwork mod and press and hold all three of those buttons again. And then let go once the Samsung screen pops up and it should take me back into my clockwork mod. And let's see. It did, as you can see, back in my Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and just go to Mounts and Storage. So go to Mounts and Storage, select it, and hit Format uh, Format System. So hit Format System under Mounts and Storage, and hit Yes. So it's gonna go ahead and format your system. Now what you're gonna need to do is hit Go Back, install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip from SD Card, and then flash the CM7 ROM again. So flash the ROM again, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this install and I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now hit choose it from SD card again and then find those Google apps, that those G apps, that zip file, that G app zip, and hit yes, install. So I'll go ahead and install the Google apps. It will not take nearly as long as the ROM. As you can see, install from SD card complete. Now just hit go back, reboot system now. So your device is going to go ahead and reboot and then once it does, you'll be running CM7 on your Samsung Infuse 4G. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm going to be doing a separate review video, so definitely going to want to check out that. I'll link to that in the description of the video. Um, so as I said, let's check out the boot animation. As you can see, nice signage mod 7 boot animation. 
But there we have it, uh, CM7, how to install it. Uh, be sure to, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.